Hey everyone, this is Nitro. It is now Saturday so I can continue with my SP Elwyn unlock because at this point the Thunder Dragon is now available. So if I go into Hero Makeover, the next battle requires me to clear the Thunder Dragon level 65 with using Elwyn and Hein. So pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just going to switch my Elwyn to maybe normal form because that way being in Infantry or Lancer class, he'll benefit from additional damage to Thunder Dragon and take reduced damage. So let's go back to, I guess, the Hero Makeover and click Go. So I have to clear the level 65 version and let's attack it. So I have to bring Elwyn and Hein to this fight. All right, let's just throw him down like this and other than that I guess I'll just have I'm just looking at this to see if I have Leon no, why don't I have Leon chivalry attack and then act again and then probably kill off the cuttlefish and everyone else starts maneuvering forward something like this okay so basic plan is up and running. Let's begin. Turn on danger zone. Let's have Leon start things off with chivalry. And then a strike. Another Leviathan. Oh, one thing is I already have Secret Realm Blessing for this fight, so it makes it even easier. It should be mentioned. Oh, I can act again him. Right. And have him maybe crush the cuttlefish. So, and maybe I'll just place him up, ready, ready to attack the thunder dragon. I'm going to teleport my Owen forward. Oops, he's not really in range to. Now, having the mass maids is going to suck here, because I probably don't have enough damage to one shot. But let's see. Oh, I do. What do you know? I'll take it. <laughs> 40 damage. So now, let's have Elwyn finish off this Dark Elf General. Alright, so if I attack, he's probably going to use his single target strike, right, the Blitz strike, and buff himself. So it might not be the best option. But whatever. Let's have him attack anyways. The key thing here is really, I don't think he can one-shot me. Hi. So, if he can't one-shot me, there's nothing to fear. Yep. Secret Realm Blessing is what it is. Hi, yo. And yeah, he Blitz Strike, so he currently has additional 30% defense attack and int and so on. Um, so why don't I just maneuver Ooh. forward with my characters for now? If Liana acts again, I can't actually move into range to attack yet. So I'd be better off waiting. So, just shifting everyone up. Four. Okay, so my Elwyn activated Breeze mobility buff. That is very convenient, actually. Because what I can do is... I can now teleport Bernhardt into range to attack. So that is Bernhardt. My Bernhardt, by the way, has Neonia as well as Hegemony. So he just dispelled the two buffs right away. Otherwise, Bernhardt with Hegemony would just dispel one. 
So if you need to dispel the other buff, obviously have Elwyn move in and just, you know, Sword Soul or Roar. That'll get rid of it. And then... I guess I'll just have Leon Chivalry and Attack. Chivalry, Smash, maybe just back off. And I can even act again, Elwyn, for one more strike. Let's go for a roar attack now. <laughs> and there we go, battle done. Secret Realm Blessing definitely makes it fight significantly faster. So there we go. Thunder Dragon cleared with Elwyn and Hein. And let's go back to Elwyn. Let's change him back to the SP class. Right. And then I'll probably want to change his soldiers again. Right. The mass maids for me really suck. So if I give him, let's say, the Steelwing Warriors, I also see my power jump up. That's a side note. Anywho, so. Let's go back to Hero Makeover. Nice and easy. Then it's 40 more challenge points, the 5 Eternal Moon Splendors and 5 Splendid Stardust requirements. Upgrade that. Aniki Gym level 70. Samson, use only Elwyn here. Okay. So maybe I'll want to change him back again. Actually, right. I think being Lancer class against cavalry enemies would be of great benefit. And maybe equip the Phallic Soldiers. You can also keep it the Steel and Warriors. I don't think it really matters there. But let's go to the Hero Makeover page. Click on Go and attack Aniki Samson, level 70. So I already ha once again I already have the secret realm blessing, so I don't imagine I'll have any rogue issue clearing this. And the only thing I'll probably want to bring is the faction buff. And maybe rather than roar frontal assault. There we go. Let's begin. The only dangers for me anyways is probably the mages. And even the mages I don't think will do all that much to me. So let's just wait. Well well well, the mages actually triggered to move. So as long as I stay out of range, oh let's just back up here then. I don't think this mage can actually one-shot me, but you know, better play it safe. Actually, I have to get hit by it no matter what, it looks like. Because I can't move to attack. But yeah, it doesn't one-shot me. So, everything's good. Actually, maybe I should have changed to a different soldier type or something. So now what? Um, yeah, I guess I'll move back one. These mobility debuffs are actually pretty annoying. Glass. 
Oh, at least I can probably avoid one. I'm moving back one. Ha! Huh. One of the mages release attack because of the positioning. Works for me. And unfortunately, I am going to have to take the hit from the other mage. Wind wall trigger. Might have been better for me to stay in the Lancer class now that I look at this. Or in the Cavalry class. Because then I wouldn't have any real issues reaching these mages. Which I'm really struggling with right now. Oh well. In the end, the clear is a clear, so whatever. my SP Owen and take a look at what's next. Complete. Aha. These ones. So you need 600 memory essence, 5 uh, SSR HP class mastery enchants, 5 SSR, you know, attacking chance and five SSR defense enchants. I don't have any of these attack enchants right now, but I do have inventory packs. So, and more specifically, I also have the expert mastery pick packs. So let's just pick these super attacks twice with two of these. That's actually why I hold on to some of these. Probably hold, have too many, given I have seven of them right now. But um, there we go, use two that one up and now the very final battle is to use a team that includes Elwyn and Hind to complete the Eternal Temple Scylla level 70. All right so you have to manually play the Scylla fight. Okay so this one's probably slightly more annoying but let's attack it. So I'm going to pretty much use the same party I used previously. Um, Elwyn will be my faction buffer bringing two attack skills, I suppose. Uh, and other than that, I'll have Matthew, who I know has an Ullers bow. I guess I'll have Narm, who has an Ullers bow as well. I'll have young Jessica, who can attack at long distances. And then Yulia and Liana can round up the party. Um, the only question is, you know what, let's just remove Norm and throw in Hein. Right. So that way, or maybe I can leave a Norm in, doesn't really matter. One or the other. Whatever. Nor I know my Norm has Taller's Bow and I know not everyone has it, but whatever. I'm going for a quick clear in this case. Yulia or Norm, up to you which one you bring. That's pretty much it. Let's turn Danger Zone and have Young Jessica activate the Bind Bestowment after moving down. And everyone else is just going to shift as well. So I can have Norm, Aim, and since she has an Elder Spell, she has 3 range so she can attack outside of Scylla's attack range, like that. Let's have Hein. I'm not... I don't think I should have high teleport yet, so... Oh, I forgot to bring unicorns on Elwyn! Oh no! Then I can only move through two tiles with Elwyn, but fortunately I do have high. So that'll make up for it, I suppose. Alright, so let's have him just move down for now. 
infection buff? Whatever. Why don't I have Liana just maybe gospel herself? In case she's the one getting pulled. And I guess I'll just have Hein teleport. I'll win into a position where he can actually attack next turn. Oceanic Horror hits my Elwyn. I have the blessing, so it makes this much easier. Oh wow, it actually slowed him too. So I can't actually move in. Huh. Alright, let's just have him wait then. The blessing will let him heal up to full anyways. So Oceanic Horror was first. I don't know which summon it's going to use next. I don't particularly care either. To be perfectly honest, I just start attacking like crazy with everybody. Oh, actually, Matthew doesn't have an Elder's Bow for some reason. Okay, that's fine. He can attack, roundabout, and retreat back. That's okay too. Now I'm going to continue to attack at free range. And so can young Jessica. And I'll just move Liana up and just heal. Summon Leviathan is first. And then after that is the other one summon. Raging Waves. But since I heal between battles or between combat, it doesn't even matter. So... He's taking physical attacks right now. With very high magic def high defense, low magic defense. So let's just quickly have high fireball it down. And I'm going to have Matthew range attack. And then have Ellen Roar attack. I don't even care that I'm debuffing him because this is not my first clear. And just keep launching strikes. I can even act against someone to attack once again. And I should because next turn is the Poseidon's Curse trigger. So why don't I act again? Elwyn. Sun Slash. Respawn, respawn, respawn. How annoying. Tentacle pulling high and far away. Multiple tentacles pulling my characters everywhere. Whatever. So let's have high and get rid of the lesser tentacle spawn there. Let's just have Vienna. Give her the letter lettuce or tentacle spawn. If I have. Cannot trigger roundabout. Can trigger roundabout. So if I attack, I can retreat too. I think that works. But first. Maybe I'll. Actually, maybe I'll just have. Young Jessica fireball it. Simplify my life a little bit. Um, Narm can just attack. Matthew can attack. So full disclosure, I moved my Matthew back and I tried having my Elwyn tank the Raging Waves from Scylla, but Scylla was actually able to kill my Elwyn with Raging Waves. So it, the Raging Waves does that much damage. So it just means I have to move my Elwyn back to avoid it, and it just means moving two tiles back. That's all. Let's continue. Um, cleanse attack. Range attack. Let's see. I'm not actually sure Matthew can range attack here, but let's give it a shot. Eh, it's fine. Oh, 
an attack. I just moves down one for now. And I'll have Liana just gospel herself again. Oceanic Horror. Totally shrugging that off. What is actually coming this turn? Not even sure. Ah, the pistol of Ivan. Okay. Young Jessica attack. Guess I'll do a act again on Elwyn again. Or should I? Because the next turn is a pistol Leviathan. Well, yeah, whatever. Let's just do it. And attack. It's a Leviathan created. It does one of the guard skills. And I get hit by Raging Flames. Mm. Doesn't really kill me. So this time around, it activated the magic guard skill. So physical strikes will kill it easier. So what that means is, for example, have an arm range attack. Back off. And this turn is the spawn turn along with AoEs. Uh oh. So if I want to be safe, I probably want to retreat. So let's move back. Because I already used my act again and so on. So nobody can attack this turn. We'll just have to move back. Spawn. Second spawn. Take some raging wave damage, but heal it up. Another spawn. Some more raging wave damage? No. And then some tentacle going on. Alright. You know what? I think I should just wipe up Scylla. I'm not even going to bother dealing with those guys. Pretty sure I can kill Scylla this turn. Without need for them. Or, well, let's just have an arm attack first. Let's have young Jessica cleanse attack. Let's have Matthew strike and just finish it. Whatever. So super easy clear with the Secret Realm Blessing. That's basically what this was. And there we go. Without any kind of fuss or anything like that, easy clear. So now if I jump back to my SP Elwyn, um, go to Hero Makeover, complete the quest, and now with that I can unlock the Unicorn, Strain of Glory, Force of Will, and the Evolution Power which gives an additional 5% hit points in defense. So let's complete that. Evolution success. あなたの指示が私の旅の目的です。私の剣はずっとあなたと共にあります。それが私とあなたとの約束です。Hmm. Whatever. 
there we go. Most more importantly is that now I can equip those new skills. And the most important one is Fashion Buff, Reign of Glory, and then Sword Soul. So what does this do? Force of Will. When friendly unit dies, restores 20% hit points and gains Force of Will. Before being forced into battle, restores 30% of hit points and heals 30% of damage dealt after the battle ends. Lasts is one turn. Eh, whatever. Not a skill I would use. And then I would probably want to throw on the Unicorns rather than the Stealing Warriors. And that actually raises my Elwyn's total power up to 8,222, which is above all, most of my other heroes. Interesting. Well, in any case, that will be it for this video, because I've now gotten my SG Elwyn properly unlocked. Thanks for watching, everyone. Nitro out.